So, Panzer 2, step 1, construction lower hull. There we go, so there's all my bits cut out. It's a lot simpler than the other ones. So, for example, that is already moulded in. Okay, they were separate on uh, on the Panzer 4. Um, I've noticed that on the top deck as well. So, bits like, say, the, the axe and the whatever that is, you know, and these, they're all already attached and moulded in. It's actually a really simple kit. Having taken off the characters, there's literally just those pieces. And these that I've cut out ready for step one. Well, that was pretty simple. All ready to uh, go on to stage two, which is here. Now, that ain't going to be done straight away. That's going to be done later. I'll spray that up first. But yeah, wheels next. No bother. Right, so it is now Thursday. Which is completely irrelevant. But being Thursday, I'm going to do the wheels now. There we go. Wheels and sprockets. I'm going to do all of that section except for the track links that go on the front because I need to paint them separately. There we are, look, 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 look. So they're all out, sprockets and the different wheels and that and the bushings. A um, bit of cleaning up, okay. Not quite flash, but, but almost, if you know what I mean. A little bit of uh, cleaning around the rims, but that was okay. Not too bad. So what I've done is I've glued on the idler wheels here now because I've got all the suspension parts and the idler wheels and that I'm gonna spray paint first of all okay I'm gonna spray all of that up and then sort of pick these details out before I attach the rest of the wheels which are gonna pop on something like so I'm not pushing them fully into position okay it's just to illustrate So I'll leave five like that, and let's think, uh, which side is that? That one's going to be there, the sprocket. See, with those little bushings, it's quite good, because they'll just go on, uh, where's the other one there? there. So that's, that's what it's going to look like, obviously flush, okay? They just, just popped on loosely. See, with these little um, nylon bushes which are now glued inside here, they revolve inside. We go around and around like that. Um, but they're, they're also a really nice tight flush fit. So anyway, that's my wheels all prepped, ready to go on. Stage three, turret with Rommel Kister. That's that rear stowage box. So uh, there's the pathetic little guns um, on Mr. Gruber's pathetic little tank. It must have been really galling for the Germans to um, have to put up with such a pathetic little panzer. You know, they've gone to all that trouble of making that awesome panzer uniform, the black um, jacket and the pink piping and the silver and the, and all that you know awesome awesome uniform that was definitely making up for the small penis syndrome of Lieutenant Gruber's little tank right there's all the bits taken out including that tiny little one I can barely see can't even focus on I, I'm 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 being a bit unfair to the um baby panzer to be fair the um the Versailles Treaty sort of like stopped them having a nice kit until a lot later. Well, that was simple enough, nice and easy. And the machine gun and main gun barrel go up and down. Gonna give that a little bit of a clean up there afterwards when it's all dried and set. But yeah, generally speaking, I'm pretty pleased with that. All that leaves is the bits of the hull, the upper hull, that aren't already on there. So few accessories and a few bits of armor plating and a few more boxes let's get that sorted super job i mean that's not much work those three still have to go on once they're painted but otherwise all done 
So there, all my component parts. It's still Thursday, so that's an hour, hour and a half maybe, to put all that together. So turrets all together, the lower hull's all together, the wheels are all together, ready to go on in the lower hull. The upper hull and deck is all together, and that just leaves those accessories to add. And then, of course, my tracks. I've decided I'm going to stick this together now while it's uh, unpainted and then start painting. Doing that bit, then I'll put the wheels on as the last bit. That makes sense, isn't it? Well, the last bit for the accessories and the uh, tracks. Makes sense, doesn't it, hey? Well, there we go. I'm going to put Panzer Grey on. A bit of a dusting on the tracks. You can do the rear of the wheels and sprockets and uh, a dusting on the tools as well, first of all, before I move on to the tank itself. Looking good. It's all done. Tracks had a dusting. That's all ready for me to turn over and do the other side as soon as it dries. yippee ki -yay. Right, let's put them wheels on and see how she looks. There we go. A little bit of weathering down there, both sides. A little bit of that. Sprocket. So I've put on now. I'm going to put the wheels on. There we go, all done. Now I just need to put the black tyres around the road wheels. Right, I'm now at the stage with the tracks on, the uh, driving tracks and the spare track at the front. Okay, I'm now at the stage of painting the camo on. Okay, I'm going to have brown stripes on the grey as per the early war. Okay, the tools that are ready to go on, they've been painted up as well, but they will go on after I've done the stripes. When I've done the stripes, which is one third root brown, which is red brown, and two thirds over the dunkel grau, uh, panzer grey, dark grey. Once I've done that, then I will put those on. Then the decals, just waiting there, uh, not those decals, but some of them, and then the um, the weathering. So we're getting there. It's a Sunday afternoon. I haven't been um, able to touch this for a few days. Uh, actually, it's a Sunday morning. Stu's coming around. We're going to do the gutters. We're going to eat toasties. In the meantime, it's a Sunday morning, and I'm going to do some painting. Well, that's the tracks marked up, so that's all ready to begin. Well, I think that looks bloody marvellous. When that dries down... That will uh, dull down a bit, not be quite so contrasty. But I think that's a really nice looking pattern. So that's great, because I've got four types of camo on four different tanks now. So, yeah, really, really pleased. Right then, here we go. I've put the decals on. So there's number 513, so five company, one section, tank three. German cross on the back, 11 Panzer Division for 1940 symbol on the front. And there's a different type of German cross on there. So now it's time for weathering. So 1940, what are we looking at? We're looking at invasion of Poland. We're talking about the Blitzkrieg in France around about May. So we're looking sort of like... Mm, a light earth sort of uh, kind of thing rather than a deep mud. Remember, I'm just dusting stuff. So I'm going to have a look through for my uh, sort of like dusty colour paints to blast over with the airbrush. This is literally a dusting. I don't go for the heavy stuff. Uh, what it does, it, it helps set and tone down the decals. 513 there, you'd aim at that bugger, wouldn't you? And you'd aim at the yellow as well on, the, on there. So that's what that's all for. And obviously most of it's going to go around uh, the tracks and wheels. So let's crack on. Oh, I'm looking happy with that. That's all right, that is. Toned down, dusty, and not dirty. Brilliant. It's only 1940, so it ain't going to be looking worn out.